Hey everybody, it's Karen from R4 Collects. How are you? Um, this is actually the second of two videos um, and the second pour of leftover paint. I'm going to post this one first though because that way I could take the opportunity to say sorry about the filming. Um, my kitchen island is six feet by four feet and when you do an 18 by 24 it was really hard to get all of the uh, canvas into frame and I think I missed a part of it and you can see part of the vase and I felt bad so I'm, that way I can apologize now and you can see it and then not be mad at me when you watch that video. Um, fairly successful pour so this is just uh, me taking all the leftover colors and playing so let's play. So curse Michaels and all their canvas sales as of late with the buy one canvas get two for free oops there's my giant thumb uh it's hard to pass that up so <gasps> uh give me two seconds Okay, that was hilarious. Uh, luckily, this is my paint sweater, so I have no fear. But I did want to rinse it out, get most of it out, so. Um, and then I'll toss it in the wash, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so took advantage of the Michael sale. And um, just a, well, new to you, but recap of colors for me. We have some, what's that? Let me pull them up up here. We mostly Liquitex colors in one Senlier, and I have remaining um, a giant cup of titanium white. So colors are, uh, the one in the middle first, this is Liquitex Basics Raw Sienna, Basics Bright Aqua Green, Basics uh, Camion Red Light Hue, AKA Orange, and then we have some Philocyan um, blue there. And then my Sennelier, the dark blue is over here, is um, Prussian blue number 318, series two. Good stuff, man. So uh, a big old cup of white. I already poured some in here. I'm just gonna layer my colors and just pour it around and see what happens. The um, the pouring media recipe is to make 20 ounces. I have 12, 12 ounces of Elmer's glue wall, six ounces of water, and two ounces of Floetrol. Mix well. No water in the paint, um, except for, I believe, the blue, um, because it, that brand, the Simile, it was heavy body, so it needed a, a dash of water. And then um, my white is the Artist Loft uh, flow acrylic. So, uh, I, in the other video, video, I had oiled up the inside of a couple of a cups. These are not, and I used, these were full, and I used very little silicone, I thought, given how full they were. So, I'm just going to go ahead and add a drop, oops, a drop to each of these colors, since they're near the bottom, and I figured most of it went into the other painting. Uh, which is downstairs on the drying table, all covered up. Shall not see the light of day for at least four days. And I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna take, meh, let's take some orange and some raw sienna, because I like those two together. Let's uh, stick a layer of white. Cover it up. 
and then take let's take the dark blue which will go light blue and then it with the green maybe we'll do all three of these together and cover them up that. I might have enough paint left over still for a, uh, a little mini. I don't know if one couple fill, fill this up. I want a lot of white. Hmm, what do you think? Maybe another little layer? Let's do the orange again with the raw sienna. And cover that up. And since I've done all my sides and corners and edges and everything, even if we stretch this out, this leaves me enough paint to do a little five by five or six by six. Uh, some fresh gloves. And we'll just pour this all around. See what happens. Because even though I've been doing a lot of sandwiching um, as of late. Uh, I haven't poured, poured my sandwiches. <laughs> that sounds funny. That sounds really funny. Hey, no comments from the peanut gallery. All right. Let's see what happens. Let's just, I don't know, let's pour right down the middle. that maybe add a little stick it in there push it up and add a little there too oh it's pretty got a little extra in my cup I'm not gonna torch yet I'm just gonna uh, tilt it all around for a pretty background maybe let's just goof around See, look, I don't even have to go over the edge or anything. It's kind of great. I come down this way. Get over. Come on down. Come on down. Come over here. Get a touch. I'll go off the edge there a little bit. And then come back. Oh, I don't wish I would have done that corner. Hold on, I'm going back. I'm reversing because I don't like that one corner. Yeah, bye-bye. All right. Let's be picky about the corners. And then, hold on. You'll get to see in a second. I'm going to stretch the hell out of it. That's why I didn't torch, because they know they would have been stretched all to hell. Come down this way. Come on down, Blue. All the way. One cup going to make it? Ooh, yep. Let's see if I can uh, pour off those weird lines. I might not be able to, though. Will they go? I can't really see what I'm doing. Yeah, we'll leave them for now. Wow, check that out. That's kind of cool. Huh. Well, let's take the leftover and cover up that. And maybe you, too. Dropped paint, a dull paint right there. Mm, get, get rid of that. What do you think? Give it a torch? Leave it the way it is? I think it needs a little something, something.
wish this line here wouldn't stop so abruptly. I had something like a cell. Really pretty colors. You knew the dark blue was going to turn into like a medium blue and that the medium blue was going to go light, but that's really pretty right there. And whenever you mix raw umber with white, you get like a nice goldeny color. All right. Just some little torching with my half dead torch. Oh yeah, let me, I gotta get rinky dink, hold on. Cause I forgot that one's dead. Yeah. I wonder if you can make a line. Or not. Let's go on a row. Yeah. Something with that little area. Maybe in here. Let's follow this line. And this line. I don't think I'm gonna get anything though. No. Nope. Those cute little guys though. I need a better torch, I really do. That's a minimalist, cute little painting. What do you think? I think I wanna, I think I, well, the paint is so thin. I'll try to move a little bit, because I would like to get rid of that. But like, you know, I stretch the hell out of this thing. So I don't know, uh, I don't know if it's good to go. And I don't wanna really mess the cells up. So, but let's see if anything will move at all, ever so slightly, ever so slowly. Oh, I might be able to. Oh, go, 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 go. Did it hurt anything? I don't think I did. You could not have planned this painting. Honest to God, you could not have planned it. Nah. I don't remember what I did. Can I be really, really greedy and try to pour that off? Because <laughs> then wouldn't it be like perfect? I think I'm being incredibly greedy though. And I should stop while I'm ahead, but let's just see if I can go up, like up and over. Oh no, nope. It's like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Listen, lady, we're pretty great. Knock it off. So yeah, that's that one. Just a, you know, a quick little one for fun, for giggles. Just killing off good use of leftover paint on a little 10 by 20. It's very happy looking. Um, so glad I didn't torch. I got um, some nice cells. Uh, I would have liked to see more of a variety in sizes because that's my new favorite thing. Um, but I do, do love the background, how it turned out. So, um, that was a good, fun little uh, experiment with how to layer, you know, instead of using the same colors to break them up in between the white. I have any more sides to get? I think I'm good. Let me get off my gloves and uh, 
Oh, I have a spot over here. Hold on one sec. Let me smear that with some nice orangey color. All right. Pretty. All right, let me come down. Try not to hit anything. So, let's see, the corner up there. That's cute, the little blue cells. Then the other side, where I was being really picky about the, you know, the one little corner. Wait, where am I? Right there. Kind of great. Can I show you the mess on my table from earlier though? Because it's so pretty. Check that out. <laughs> That's on my tarp left over. That's pretty funny. Um, the middle part here, where am I? Yeah, I can't see. The middle part there with the orange and the white with those cells. Those are great. And I like this blue guy here with the orange ring around him. I've got a couple of larger ones down here, but the, the blending of the colors right there, that's kind of amazing, right? Amazing. So that one worked out fairly well. Kind of happy with it. Where am I? Look at that in under 20 minutes. So there's a little twofer for you. And again, I'm sorry about the next video, I'm not being able to get everything on the canvas, where am I looking? I'm like practicing where I look. <laughs> no idea. I don't know. Uh, that's it for me. Uh, I'm, I'm actually teaching uh, in the middle of the week, so I won't be able to pour because I need my drying table for the students. So um, I'll see you guys in a few days though. Take care, bye-bye.